Yo, 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 what's going on, folks? Can all hear? Uh, let's take a look at the markets here. So, a uh, nice day for the markets last week. A nice, nice week for the markets last week with the S&P up about a percent and the Russell up nearly 2%, but it was bullish on a few different levels. Uh, number one, after we had this key level breakout, we consolidated for a good six, seven days, and we finally, on Thursday, uh, thrust above this uh, the flag that we had been building and putting us right at yearly highs. Um, what you want to see right after key breakouts is, you know, consolidation, then breaks, right? Uh, we didn't give back any gains, and if anything, uh, we got another up thrust out of it. So overall, the market looks uh, fairly bullish here. Fairly bullish here. And, you know, we'll see, um, you know, what happens now. Now, after a thrust like this, you know, we might chop around for another couple days. Um, I'm expecting the rest of August to be pretty slow especially next week but you never know there's always going to be enough action in the markets you know even last week with the markets being slow there were a lot of small caps firing so uh, there'll still be some movement it's just uh you know you got to be really on top of your game and make sure you catch them quick uh, let's take a look at our watch list here uh MITK uh $5 magnet here we've just been flagging that for a good two weeks uh, this one's about to pop pretty soon just it's a matter of when uh KNDI right Flagging, uh, we got probably one more thrust in this bad boy. I like to look on CLWR. It might need a few more days. This is a really thick stock. It kind of trades like, um, you know, Sirius Satellite Radio. Um, so, you know, it, it might take a few days still, I think, but it's got a good look to it. STSI, I believe this used to be the old SIGX, and believe it or not, this stock company has always been a turd, but uh, it looks like it's kind of getting ready to kind of get juiced again. Um, I like the spot it's at right here while it's sitting on this 50-day moving average, right? And so I, I think we can probably come out of this, maybe make a run to 4.8 at some point today. But uh, I like this type of pattern. It's one of my favorites to play. It's just easy to manage. Uh, IL, I've been watching this one for a couple days here. Still might need a little bit more time, but um, it's consolidating its you know earnings move. WBI, WIVC. Um, chilling here at the 650 level. When we come out of range here, this one could be good for a trade. I probably wouldn't take this one. I hate trading banks. I just never have any good luck with it. Um, FSSS, uh, $6 right here. If we can kind of break over this, I mean, you can see we've tested it quite a few times, right? The more times you start testing a level, the more supply you're really uh, soaking up over there that can lead to a powerful move. I think that this one's got a shot. It just needs to come out of this range. AVL, I, I like this one too. Uh, this is a rare earth stock. Um, you know, MCP's been getting killed, but this one seems to have held up really well here. Uh, 180 seems to be the sweet spot if we can get over it. Caribou Coffee, you know, probably going to have to need to, I think it's probably going to need to break about 13, but we're flagging right over here on this 50 day moving average. If we can thrust above it, um, I think that we could probably make a pop to. You know the 200 NOA. We're right at the sweet, sweet, sweet spot here, kind of breaking out of range. Uh, look for a move here. This one's got a lot of space to run still. FTK 1220 or so. Uh, SYNM. This one's a you know devil stock, but it's always a tricky trader. But you can see this 80 level seems to be pretty important. So we'll see if we can make a move over that. Might have another good 10 cents of upside in it. Uh, GM, GMCR, we're kind of just farting around right under this 25 spot. Um, you know, that's the squeeze zone right there, right? This kind of like 25, 17, I think might, it's, you know, when you're trading stocks like this, it's really never a price that's the trigger, but more of the look or the setup uh, intraday that coincides with the break on the daily. But That'll be kind of the zone where you'll need to hit that. Uh, mind speed. I've been watching this one for days. I'm almost tired of looking at it, but I know the day I take it off my watch list, it's going to go. And then uh, AL, ALC. This one's starting to round about a little bit. Um, we'll see if it can come out of range. Uh, 